Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for our Chico's reading tour. My name is Ms. Olguin and I'm of the librarian at Del Norte Heights Elementary. Today we'll be reading a story with my friend Chico. And the story we'll be reading today is Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Today's story is Can I Be Your Dog and it's written by Troy Cummings. And this is our dedication page, and it's dedicated to the real Arby. Can I be your dog? By Troy Cummings. Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained, and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arby. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Now they're replying. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Signed, Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Signed, Veronica Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Poor Arby. Nom, nom, nom. Chewing on his giblet. Theater Fire Station number five. Can I be your dog? I can set your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around the fire hydrant. I sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest, signed Arfie. And then they responded, Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. I don't think Arfi liked that one. Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not gonna lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much. And I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Dear Mutt, get lost. It looks like they know the one. Poor Arfie. Not having a good week or a day. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky, just lonely, signed Arfi. Uh-oh, they returned this letter. This is what one gets when people don't live at the house. This is a return to sender. Arfi's so sad, he's having such a bad week. His week is just getting worse and worse, and now he's in his house all by himself with no owner. No one has, um, he's just been rejected and rejected. Oh, it's the next day, and the sun is shining, and it stopped raining, and there's a note on Arfie's cardboard box. What is it? It's a letter. It says, to Arfie. 
Oh, there's a letter. He's opened it. Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. In snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already knew everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. <gasps> we'll see me here. And now she's reading his letter. Dear Betsy, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Woof. Scritch scratch, scratch scratch. He found his forever home. Isn't that great? Oh, hey Chico, did you enjoy today's story? Can I be your dog? Well, thank you, boys and girls. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Chico's reading tour. We hope you enjoyed the story as well. <laughs>